Okay, so in this video, this fourth video in our series on the 2x2 two two matrix, we're going to deal with using the matrix method to solve simultaneous equations. Alright, just a brief recap. In the first video, we looked at the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. In the second video, we looked at the special case where the determinant was equal to 0, which is what we refer to as the singular matrix. And in, and in the third video, we look at finding the inverse of a 2x2 two two, two 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 matrix. All right? Now, this is the video where everything will come together, where we're going to use all the previous things that we went through up to this point to use the matrix method to solve simultaneous equations. All right? So look at the equation on the board here. The equation is that 2x minus 3y is equal to minus 2, 4x plus y is equal to... 24. So, the first thing we want to do is to express these two equations in what we refer to as the matrix form. Right? Remember, we have the form A by X equals B. Right? So that is the form we want to adopt to solve the equation using matrices. So A is a coefficient matrix. So 2 minus 3, 4, 1. Where we get that from? 2 is the coefficient of x, minus 3 here is the coefficient of y in the first equation. In the second equation, 4 is the coefficient of x, and y, 1 is the coefficient of y. Of course, the 1 being understood here. Right? So that is your matrix of coefficients multiplied by your column matrix of variables multiplied by x, y. <coughs> All right? Basically, we just do in the reverse. If you multiply out this matrix, this is what you'll get on the left hand side. 2 by x plus 3 by minus y, 2x minus 3y. 4 by x plus 1 by y, 4x plus y. So we, we took this form and we open it out into the matrix form. And then on the right hand side, we have minus 2 on top and 24 below. Alright? So this here is the matrix form. Alright? This is the form where this matrix is a, a, this matrix is a X, and this matrix here is your B. Alright? So that is the first step to using the matrix method. The first step is to write it out in matrix form. Right? So your next step now is to rewrite the, well not to rewrite, but just to continue from here. Alright? So, the next line would be, I'm just going to rub off and put it where it's supposed to be. So xy would be equal to 2 minus 3, 4, 1, inverse multiplied by 2 minus 24. Alright? So the next line, this here is the next line. Alright? So I just rearrange everything due to space considerations. But the next line is that xy, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to the inverse of the coefficient matrix 2, 3, 4, minus 1, multiplied by, by your matrix of variables 2, minus 24. Alright? So as you can surmise by now, here is where the work in this question would be. The real work, the belly of the question there is to find the inverse of the coefficient matrix. So we're going to focus on that now. Alright? So you get up to here. So the first thing to do is find the determinant of the matrix. Alright? So we say that the determinant, and we put the entire matrix between the two straight lines now of 2 minus 3. For 1 is equal to determinant AD minus BC, right? Well, AD minus BC, same difference, alright? So 2 by 1 minus 4 by minus 3. That's equal to 2 minus minus 12, which is equal to 40. So the determinant is equal to 40, alright? So we're rubbing off again, alright? So with that in mind now, we can say, the inverse of 2 minus 3 for 1 is equal to 1 over the determinant, 40. And then 
we organize the adjoint. The trade places, the two and the one here. So this will be one on top, two below, and we switch sides here. Three here and minus four here. So this right there, that is your inverse. So we're going to substitute that now into the original line that we had before. All right. So we can say now that, again, we in, in the interest of space, we can say now that xy is equal to the inverse here multiplied by minus 2, 24. All right? So this here now is where we're going to actually do the calculations to find the values of x and y. Now, here is where you would see the utility of leaving the inverse in this form. Because as it stands here, we leave the 1 over 14 by itself and we multiply these two matrices here. Alright? And of course, we'll divide by 14 at the end. So, I'm just going to write it over now. We are at the point now where we can get rid of this and use all the available space to solve the equation. Alright? So, we're going to do that right now. So, Starting, we're going to put this back on top here. xy is equal to 1 over 14 by 1, 3, minus 4, 2, by minus 2, 24. Alright? We're rubbing off here now. Mm -hmm. Alright? So, we're multiplying here now. So, xy is equal to 1 over 14 by... 1 by minus 2, put this in square brackets, 1 by minus 2 plus 3 by 24. And then in the bottom here we have minus 4 by minus 2 plus 2 by 24. We call 1 over 14 by minus 2 plus 24 um, plus 3 by 24, which would be... <coughs> Minus 2 plus 72, this will be 8 plus 48. Alright? Which will be 1 over 14 into 70, 56. And now, with this 1 over 14 now, we can say that 1 over 14 by 70 is the same thing as 70 divided by 40, which is 5. And 1 over 14 by 56 is the same thing as 56 divided by 14, which is equal to 4. <coughs> so that, and I'm going to just use this space up in the corner here. Alright? So we could say now that x, y is equal to 5, 4. Therefore, x equal 5 and y equal 4. And that is it all right <clears throat> so you have the video you could follow the process follow the procedure i'm going to work one more like this so you'll have two examples after which i will leave you to work the exercise that accompanies this video on your own as further practice all right so we have the second example here where we're going to use the matrix method to solve a pair of simultaneous equations. So we have the pair of equations, x plus 2y is equal to 4 equation 1, 3x minus 5, 5y is equation 2. So we're going to do as we did before and extract the different matrices to make up the matrix form of this pair of equations. So the coefficient matrix will be 1, 2, 3, minus 5, by x, y equal 4, 1. Alright? So, next line now would be to say that x, y is equal to the inverse 1, 2, 3, minus 5 inverse of 4, 1. Alright? So, line 1, line 2. So, we're continuing from this line here we're going to rub off everything on the top there. So the next step, of course, would be to take two, three lines to find the inverse of this 1, 2, 3, minus 5. So the first thing we do 
is to find the determinant. Alright? So we say now that uh, the determinant of 1, 2, 3 minus 5 is equal to 3 by 2. No, A B, sorry, wrong thing. 1 by 1 by minus 5 <coughs> minus 3 by 2. So minus 5 minus 6, which is equal to minus 11. So the determinant is minus 11, which means therefore that the inverse, right, we can say now, therefore, the inverse of 1, 2, 3, minus 5, minus 1 will be equal to minus 1 over 11 by, and we switch it now, minus 5 here, 1 here, minus 2 here, and minus 3 here. So this here is the inverse. This here is the inverse of this matrix here. Alright? So we're going to write the next other, the next line as, we can say now that therefore xy is equal to minus 1 over 11 by minus 5 minus 2 minus 3 1 by 4 and 1. And this is the equation here that we're going to use to find the actual values of x and y. Alright? So, just as we did the first time, we're going to multiply this 2 by 2 matrix by the 4 1 here. So we're going to leave the minus 1 over 11 on the outside, minus 1 over 11 by. We're putting this in square brackets as we did before. Minus 5 by 4 is um, minus 5 by 4 plus minus 2 by 1. And then the bottom line will be minus 3 by 4 plus 1, 1 by 1. Alright? So this is what you'll end up with, which is equal to... Mm, Alright, you run out of space there now. So minus 5 by 4 is minus 20 plus minus 2. Alright? So what I'm going to do is just use this space to write over what we actually get. Right? So minus 5 by 4 is minus 20. Minus 2 by 1 is plus minus 2. Right? And then here minus 4 by 3 is minus 12. And 1 by 1, of course, is our good friend 1. Right? Minus 20 plus minus 2 is, next line would be, minus 20 minus 2. And this would be minus 12 plus 1, which would be minus 11. Alright? So minus 11 here. And then your next line after that would be, at minus 20 minus 2 is, minus 22. Alright? So what you'll end up with would be, x, y is equal to minus 1 over 11 into minus 22 over 11, of course. Minus 11 into minus 22 is equal to 2, and minus 11 into minus 11 is equal to 1. So therefore, the final answer would be that x equal to 2, and y equal, right? And that's it. That is it. Alright? So you have two examples on video that you can rewind, pause, stop at your leisure. And you have some questions accompanying the video to practice. Absolutely no reason at all why you shouldn't master this topic. Alright? So just go ahead now and do it.